Hi, I'm Dejana and welcome to Wait A Little. This is going to be my monthly favorites for April, so let's just jump right into it. So this first product kind of has a cult following and I know everyone has it and everyone loves it and it's nothing new, but it is the Office City Bag from Zara. I wanted it for a really long time and then when I finally decided to go and go get it, it was out of stock and I was really upset and I whined for a really long time about it. Then I finally went back and it was in stock so I decided to just buy it. I don't care for hopping into spring and summer and it's a big black bag. I wear black bags all year long and I'm in love with it. It It's like, it, it's perfect. It's perfection in a bag. I love how sturdy it is. You've got, you know, zip number one and then another pocket and then in that pocket a space for your iPad and then more space and then a middle pocket and then more space and then another po pocket and more space and more space. I just, there's like a bajillion compartments in here. Sometimes I'm looking for my wallet and I don't even know where it is and it's fine because I love this bag. It's great. It's like, look at it. It's just so well made. Good job, Zara. So that's definitely a monthly favorite. I'm obsessed with it. The next fashion favorite is also a bag. It's this little bag right here. I've had this bag since I was in high school, probably the 11th grade, and I got it from Goodwill. So it's been about three years, three or four years? It's been four years since I, pur since I purchased this, and it was like $5, maybe six max, and I just, I've rediscovered it and I love it. It's really structured. It's really sturdy. Super small. You open it up with this little clasp here and it has this little pocket here and another little one here and little slots. I don't know if you can see that. Little slots for like your cards. So this bag is not a carry-all bag. It's actually probably the exact opposite of the Office City bag in size. But I really, really love it. It's perfect if you're just gonna travel with your phone and maybe your debit card because that's pretty much all I can carry maybe one lip product but I think it's really cute and I've had it ever since and I love it and I've been using it pretty much all month long so really like that okay this next fashion item it's not a fashion item you'll understand when you see it okay it's really atrocious and ugly and I get it I get it if it's not for everyone but it's this makeup bag from forever 21 and it has cats all over it it's possibly the ugliest thing I have ever seen in my life, but it's just so perfect. These cats look so unimpressed. I'm, I'm going to show it to you close up because these cats are not messing around. It's so ugly that it's hard not to find beauty in it. I'm full of shit. It's just really ugly. But it's useful and I like cats, so there it Ooh, is. Also this month, favorite, 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 favorite. I don't really have casual shoes at all. I pretty much just wear sandals and heels, sandals and heels, sandals and heels, sandals and heels. I don't have any kind of sneaker shoe other than like the running shoes I use for working out. So I realized that I should probably own some of those because sometimes it's nice to just have shoes to slip your feet into and go to the grocery store or whatever. So I got some kids, you know, they're cute, they're gray, they're useful, they're comfy, they're a good all around shoe. They look really massive on camera, but that's because I have big feet. It's fine. It's fine. Size 9 and, and love and life. But yeah, I really like them and I'm really happy with it. So that was a good purchase too. Really happy with that. I'm embracing the more casual side of life. I have another favorite and it is jewelry. And it's these rings. I don't know if you can see them. It's kind of really shiny. But there's a silver one, a kind of bronze looking one, and a gold one. There's also a black one. This little guy, I never wear that. But I just like really wearing them all together. These were from Topshop. And I just think they kind of add an edginess to any outfit. I really like the mixed metals. And they're just fun to throw on all the time. So that's a good buy. Next we're gonna move into my favorites, which is the cosmetic favorites of the month. And the first is like standard McStando. Naked 2 palette. So standard. Everyone has this Naked 2 palette. But 
I, I, I get it. I get why everyone has a Sneaky 2 palette. I get why everyone loves a Sneaky 2 palette. I just... I wear all these colors all the time. I'm wearing these colors now. I just... It's useful if you're traveling. It's useful if you don't really want to have to buy a lot of individual eyeshadows. There's something there for everyone to love. Yada yada yada. Naked 2 palette is awesome. Yada yada yada. My next favorite is the Kiehl's Lip Balm number one. And this one isn't my favorite because it does anything special. It essentially feels like Vaseline, but slightly better. But my lips have been getting really used to my Nukes Rev de Miel, and I don't want to have to be carrying it all the time, and I don't want to be using it all the time because that shit ain't cheap. So this is a good alternative to just throw in your purse. I don't really mind slathering this on all the time. And it's pretty hydrating. I mean, it does. It, it's a decent lip balm. It's not scented. There's no frills, no colors, just straight up lip balm. So I've been really, really liking that. I've also really been loving this NARS blush in the shade, oh, sorry for blinding you, Taj Mahal. It's like this burnt orange color of love. That's it right there. It's, it's, it's orange. It's pretty orange and it's it looks really intense but once I put it on it's just kind of this golden bronzy beautiful look. I have a full blog post on it so I'll put the link to that down below for you to check it out. It swatches and all that jazz. It's really really nice and it's really flattering and I, I've been wearing it pretty much 80% of the time when I'm wearing blush, I'm wearing this. And the next favorite is my NARS Sheer Glow in, I guess it doesn't really matter what shade it is, but it's it's Trinidad. And it's just, it has a really nice finish. I don't, there's nothing, nothing else to say about it. It's a really nice foundation and I get why everyone loves it. It's perfect for my skin tone. It's not too orange, not orange. Like red. It's not too red toned, which a lot of foundations are for darker skin, especially in the MAC line. This is kind of perfect and it, it feels like nothing. It leaves me not too dewy, but kind of a natural skin finish. I really, really like it. So that's just a great buy, at, at, a luxury buy. So I don't use it all the time because $55 for a foundation is a little more than my pockets like to spend. but. It's really good, so I'll definitely rebuy it when I run out. And this next product is from MAC, and it is a lipstick called Ablaze, which is a matte finish. I think it's limited edition. It is. It's definitely limited edition, and it's from their Fashion Sets collection, but I think you can still get it right now, so if you like it, run for it. I'm wearing it right now, and it's really bright. It's really, really bright. So if you're not into bright lipsticks, then this probably ain't your jam. But um, that's it right there. I don't know why, like, the swatch is clearly on my lips. I didn't really need to swatch it on my hand, but like, there it is, if you're interested. It's a matte, it's really bright. It's not as drying as some other MAC matte fam formulas. So it's not so bad to wear for a long period of time. I don't find that it sinks into the cracks of my lips at all. But it's kind of a corally, pinky, fuchsia e color of greatness. I just really really like it. I think it's really good for spring and I don't really have lots of colors like it so thumbs up in my book. And the last cosmetic item in this month's favorites is this hard candy baked bronzer in Tiki. Now calls itself a break a baked bronzer but I don't think anyone no matter how pale you are is using this as a bronzer it's clearly a highlight like look at it it's pretty much white I don't know who I don't know it's fine it's lovely though it's really 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 nice it's a great highlight without being too shimmery which I can't stand like this is it right here and then just kind of blend it out and it's it just makes you look like you're glowing versus shimmering, you know? It, some people say that it's kind of a dupe for MAC Soft and Gentle, and it, it's very, very similar. Soft and Gentle, I think, is a little bit more shimmery and a little bit more nighttime going out, but this is good for the everyday 
face look. I think it was, mm, it was $8. I think it was $8, 8 or $9, no more than $9. And it's hard candy, so I'm pretty sure only Walmart sells hard, hard candy. I don't know why, but that's a thing. And I just love it. I've been reaching for it ever since I purchased it. Nothing wrong with it. The wear on this is not the longest. I'd say after about three or four hours, you're probably going to need to reapply. But it's beautiful, and I think it's beautiful on every skin tone. It'll just brighten your face up, and I really, really like a strong, highlighted face. So I, this is perfect. I'm even wearing it right now. I don't know if you can tell. Might have gone a little crazy with it, but just really brightens up my face. I really love it. So that's it for the cosmetic favorites. And now I'm going to move on to my skincare favorites of the month. And the first one is this Caudalie Beauty Elixir. I didn't want to like it because it's so expensive for what it is, which is pretty much a glorified toner. Like, and it, it says it has all these skin renewing properties and all this jazz, but I have not noticed any difference in my skin from using it but it is fantastic like though I just said all those negative things about it it is perfection in a bottle I spray it after I put on my makeup and it kind of lets everything settle into place properly it just sinks in better and I feel so renewed when I put it on like it just smells so good it smells really herbal so if you don't like that kind of really strong herbal scent then this probably isn't for you but I really, really, really love this. Sometimes in the morning when I'm feeling really groggy and I have work or anything and I have to be up early, just a spray of this after I've cleansed my face and I suddenly feel like a brand new human being. So I don't know what this jazz is, but it is great. I love it. I'm definitely going to rebuy it, even though it was so pricey. $18 for this little tiny travel size purse version of this. 18 that's... I'll do it. I'll do it. The next one is the Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask. The most painful mouthful of a name ever. It... It smells really, really lovely. Like, really lovely and fresh and nice. And it's really, really hydrating. The way I choose to apply it, or the way I think you should do it, from my understanding, I put it on my face pretty much after I've done all my cleansing routines and everything before I go to bed. I put it on, I let it sink for a little bit, and then I kind of wipe off the excess because I don't want it getting all over my pillow. And then I wake up with skin that is as soft as a baby's bum. Pretty much whenever my skin feels a little dry or dehydrated or like it needs a little oomph, this mask is fantastic. It, it feels like a cream, if that makes sense. It feels like a really, really thick cream. It's not like your typical mask. But it's really, really just lovely. It's just lovely and it's a really nice product. I would definitely repurchase this time and time again. I think it's just what everyone's skin needs. Or at least it's what my skin needs, which is why I made it into my favorites video. And last but not least is this Palmer's Skin Therapy Oil. Now, this oil is was kind of a random pick for me. I wasn't really looking for an oil and I don't really know why I bought it but I saw it and I liked it and people seem to like it on Makeup Alley so I was into it. Um, I pretty much, I have some dark scars on my face like acne scars and I use this to kind of help fade them as well as other things but moreover I just kind of use this all over my body like I'll smooth it on my legs, I'll smooth it on my arms. It's super hydrating. It kind of soaks in really fast. It doesn't just like sit on your skin and then stain all of your clothing with oil. It's really, really nice. Um, I just, there's there's nothing bad about this. Sometimes I use it in the place of a moisturizer, def depending on how I'm feeling. And it smells like cocoa butter, so I mean... Goodbye for sure. I've used so much of it and only just grazed this top little area. So I really, really like this. It's really hydrating and I think it'll be great in the summer to kind of give your skin a little bit of a glowy sheen. So that's really, really good. So that's it. That's it for my April favorites. Thank you so much for watching. 
don't forget to comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.